Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim Martin, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hang out with me every Tuesday here on YouTube. Today we are doing a guest bedroom makeover, and it is finally getting done. Ever since we bought this house uh, a little over a year ago, we wanted to paint and update this room, but it's just not been getting done, and so finally, we're doing it and I'm so excited to take you guys along. These are my favorite type of videos because you can see the before and the after and it's just my favorite thing. Before we get started, let's back up and look at some before pictures because the only thing that makes a bedroom makeover feel worthwhile is to see the before picture. So let's do that real quick and then let's get started. We have our little flashlight in here to help with lighting because this light <laughs> is not cutting it. So can't work in a dark room. <laughs> So I felt like this room needed an accent wall to kind of add some character and so we decided to try a grid wall and Daryl had never made a grid wall before but um, considering that he'd never made one it turned out really good. It took a little bit of trial and error but we're really happy with how it turned out. And then as far as the painting goes I helped some but Daryl really honestly did most of it. Um, due to my pregnancy I was trying to kind of limit my exposure to the paint fumes and so he really did most of the grunt work for this project, so a huge shout out to him for that. Okay, so an update on our grid wall. It looks incredible. Um, but we have the first, what is it, Daryl? Two or three coats of primer? Three coats of primer on here. And we are finally ready to paint. So hopefully we can get that kicked out today. This paint color is called Olive Sprig by Velspar and we painted it in eggshell finish. All of this information will also be in the description box. Okay, yes, before you ask, I am sick. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I've been dealing with like a cold for almost like a week now. Actually, it's over a week at this point. But anyways, it's finally starting to clear up, so I think we're at the tail end of it. So anyways, that is so besides the point. Uh, today, we're finally gonna be revealing the guest bedroom. We have been working on this project, and it's embarrassing, but like for months. <laughs> It's kind of just been one of those projects that's just like you're working on on the side. Like when Daryl has a free weekend or an evening that he's not busy, he would work down here. What I'm trying to say is that this room <laughs> took a lot longer to finish up than I was hoping. So I don't know if I could say if this room is like finished yet because I still want to add like um, I want to get a dresser at some point because we just have the closet and I want to get a mirror because the bathroom is upstairs. We don't have a bathroom here in the basement and um, there's some decor items I want to add. But for now, we have done like the things that need to be done. Uh, I think I'm gonna be adding things to this room here and there in the future. 
But for now, we're gonna wrap this project up and move on to the next project, which is the nursery. I am so excited to show you guys the nursery. <laughs> it's not quite done yet though. We're waiting on a few more things. And so as soon as it's done, I will be sharing that video and I am so excited. <laughs> but anyways, we're all here to see the guest room reveal, not listen to me talk. So let's get right into that. Okay, quick rundown. I got this lamp from Amazon. It'll be linked in the description box just for you. Then we got this little table at Hobby Lobby. I actually got it on clearance. I think it was originally like 60 or $70 and I got it for like 30 bucks. So that kind of made me happy. Still have to find something to put on the nightstand. I'm thinking a little clock and a Bible, we'll see. The bed frame is from Amazon and the comforter is actually from Target. Um, and I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this pillow is from Ikea and this one is from a random home decor store. I don't remember which store I actually bought that at. Anyways, and then this pillow back here is part of a set of throw pillows that I actually bought for this whole setup. But they're from Amazon and when they came in the mail, I just kind of like put them together and threw them on my couch just because I didn't feel like running them down here at the moment. And I love them on my couch so much that they've kind of just stayed there. <laughs> Anyways, they're from Amazon. I am going to link them for you. But um, <laughs> I think they found permanent residence in my living room. So the hunt for decorative throw pillows for this room continues. But I really do love having them on my couch, so it's okay. Okay, I don't know how well you can see this thing, but anyways. I want to hang this thing from the ceiling in here somewhere, but I'm having trouble deciding like which corner to hang it in. So my dear sweet husband, he actually held this thing up for me in all of the potential spots in this room that I was thinking about hanging it and I took some videos. And so I need your help. Help me decide. Comment down below. Tell me like where you think I should hang it because I really have no idea. Also, how talented is my husband? He had never even heard of a grid wall before. And I just showed him a random Pinterest picture and he just created it on my wall. I mean, seriously, he's so talented. <laughs> okay, and that wraps up the guest bedroom reveal. I'm so relieved to have this project done. Oh my goodness. I know I say this about everything, but it has literally been on our list ever since we moved in here and we just have not gotten around to it. Now all we need is my family and our friends to come visit us and use our guest bedroom. Anyways, so good to have this room off of the to-do list. And now we can move on to the next project and I am so thrilled about that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing our guest bedroom update and this little peek into our lives. And I will see you next week on Tuesday. I always upload on Tuesdays, just so you know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and like this video. And I will see you guys next week. I have a really fun video coming for you that I'm really excited about. So we'll see you then. Bye guys.